Hi, I'm Samir Chowdhury, uh, General Manager of the Clinical Imaging Group at Gamma Medica. Uh, and welcome to the RSNA 2010. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to the booth today. Here we're showing our Lumagem molecular breast imaging system. Now, there's a great need in women's health um, for women with dense breast tissue. That constitutes about 20 to 30 percent of the population in the U.S. For that population, screening mammography has some drawbacks. In their recently published study in radiology, the Mayo Clinic showed a study of 1,000 patients. Uh, this patient included dense breast women uh, who are at high risk. Uh, the sensitivity of mammography for that group of, of patients was down around about 27 percent, whereas with the Lumagem molecular breast imaging system it was 91 percent. Uh, in addition, the specificity uh, for uh, the Lumagem was at 93 percent, and this is lesions as small as a few millimeters. So really this shows the power of molecular imaging uh, in that space. The Mayo Clinic is now conducting a 2,400 patient study, which is done at low dose. So they're looking at four millicuries. Uh, so in the future, we'll be looking to get the, uh, the MBI indication for screening uh, with low dose, dose uh, similar to the dose used for screening mammography. So the Lumagem system is, is a molecular imaging system. Uh, it's a digital imaging system as opposed to analog nuclear medicine. It's made not with photomultiplier tubes or scintillation sodium iodide cameras. It's a cadmium zinc telluride based detector that uses direct conversion of gamma photons to, to electrical signal. And this gives you a lot of advantages. This is part of the reason why we can achieve a significantly low dose uh, and increased sensitivity and specificity uh, that you really can't see with many other systems or modalities. Um, the system comes in, in two forms. There's a single and dual head system. Um, of course, with the dual head system is where you can really get down to the low, the low dose of uh, two to four millicuries, which is currently in the process of uh, getting FDA approval. So let me show you um, three case studies here. So on the left, there's a digital screening MAMO uh, in which a 20 millimeter cancer was called positive. Uh, as you can see that on the MBI image on the right, you see that cancer, but you also see a 10 millimeter cancer that was missed on mammography. What's nice to see here is this two to three millimeter vessel, uh, which shows the spatial resolution uh, and power of the MBI system. In the next case, this is a digital screening mammography um, of a patient which was read negative. Now, as you can see, there's a 17 millimeter intraductal carcinoma with a DCIS extension, which is clearly seen uh, with the molecular breast imaging image and not with the mammography. In case number three, again with the digital screening MAMO, uh, this was read negative. However, on the MBI scan, we see a 7 millimeter carcinoma. And this is, this is pretty indicative of the, of the cases that we see in the images where the images are, can be read in a binary format. So either yes or no, and it, and it literally takes seconds to read these images. Uh, so they're very quick, it's a very easy scan to, to do, and it's a very easy scan to read.